Okay, so if you were coming into school as an employer, um, you'd obviously find lots of classrooms. There might be labs or specific rooms for certain subjects such as music, or you might be able to use a large space such as the hall, or we have sports halls as well. So depending on what you're coming in to help with, there will be different spaces and areas that you would be able to use. Every classroom you'd find an interactive whiteboard, projector, you've got a teacher's computer that's networked with internet access um, and students these days would have iPads which would give them the ability to use the internet for research or to store their work on. Um, the classrooms are set out pretty much in a sort of traditional style with desks and chairs but obviously then the room can be flexible and you can adapt it to how you want to deliver a presentation or a workshop. School days have five or six lessons, um, students would move around in between those lessons studying different subjects, uh, sort of 50 to 55 minute lessons but obviously it varies depending on the school, what time the school starts and what time it finishes. Uh, most schools start obviously with registration in the morning and then lessons at about nine o'clock. So if you're coming into school, obviously important to check with somebody as to how long the lessons last for and obviously at what time you would be needed in the morning and what time for the day to finish. So students are used to well-planned, exciting lessons where a range of activities are going to be used. Um, they like group work, they like presentations, they like being able to research, obviously, if they've got their iPads or access to the internet um, and the opportunity to come in and try out lots of different types of learning styles within a presentation or a workshop or even a lesson. A typical class, um, it depends on the size of the class that you're working with and the age group or the age range of those students. Um, and you may have some students in there as well who have special needs and you might have some teaching assistants who would come in and support those students. So uh, obviously the really useful thing to do beforehand would be to liaise with the class teacher or somebody who knows those, that group of students well to decide what sort of resources or what activities would suit that class best. Some of the constraints for an employer coming into a secondary school might be um, obviously things like when it's exam season, GCSE and A-level exams and also that it can be a very high pressurised environment for staff, teaching and non-teaching staff. So from an employer's point of view, um, coordination and sort of keeping in touch with the school and liaising with them in advance of you coming in would be really helpful and making sure that if any deadlines are set they could be met. Um, it just means that everything would run really smoothly when the employer does come into school. The employer can prepare for working with the school by making sure they know who the named contact they're going to be working with in the school would be. That's really useful when in a busy place you're trying to speak to the right person all the time or get the right email address. Um, you can speak to that person, possibly arrange to come in and sit down and talk it through with them, what you're planning to do on the day with the workshop or the presentation. Um, you get an idea of what the school's going to be like, the environment that you're going to be working in, might even get a chance to see some of the students working as well. And it just means that the employer can come in feeling very confident on the day that they know everything they need to be doing. The school also can feel very sort of confident and can support the employer effectively. So uh, on the day the students, the employer and the school has a really good experience. So if employers wanted some guidance as to who they should contact if they wanted to come into school and help, I think the first person to contact would be the head of careers at school. Um, you could email the school and just use the school's um, general email address and address it for the attention of the head of careers or somebody like that. Or another good way to approach the school would be to phone the school number and then speak to somebody in reception and ask to be put through or actually get the name of somebody that they would recommend that you speak to. It just means that anything you're sending to school obviously comes to somebody who could help you as quickly as possible. Um, leaving as much information about yourself as well um, and what you're hoping or intending to do with the students as an employer also really helps because it just means that the right person can get back to you as soon as possible. Okay top tips for employers wanting to come and work in schools um, it's mainly about communication it's about getting the name of the person that you're going to work with um, it's about making sure that you can even come into the school and meet that member of staff see the environment that you're going to work in um, what are your timing constraints? How long would your activity last for? What resources would you need for that activity? Um, what planning does the school need to do from their point of view? What planning would you need to do from your point of view? Um, making sure that you're happy and confident with everything and so is the school and then you can run a really good event.